Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So welcome to the Sikh Youth Show each and every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Sikh Channel. I uh, want to bring in, I've got two great guests today. We've got Kam Baji from the Sikh Channel. Welcome to the show. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ka Fateh. And we've got Baikul Jeet Singh from Leicester. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. So you just saw the highlights of this week's Vasaki Mela where our Sevadars and team were out in Hansworth, Birmingham. And there was a fantastic uh, uh, spread of loads of different stalls, loads of different um, activities going on within the park. But just prior to that, there was two great Nagal Kirtan started, one from South Birmingham and one from Sandwell. So they both ended up in the park where I think there was a cut of about 100,000 Sikhs from up and down the country who attended, which was wicked. I think this is um, one of the biggest uh, Nagal Kirtans in UK, if not the biggest. Um, so we want to thank uh, the Council of Sikh Godware for their efforts on uh, making this a success and everyone who dedicated their time and effort to make it a progressive move for the Bant, for the community and all the seva that was going on from the people who put up the stools, for the people who were doing better on the day, for the, uh, the Banj Biare, from the Nishan Seva Seva, every little bit of seva that was put into that, it was because of you that that happened, so I want to thank that. We want to thank uh, Sikh Channel for covering the Vasaki Milla, and I believe the highlights were on last night, so if you haven't seen them, you know, try and catch up, and if you can, uh, have a look, there were some great interviews, and I believe Cam was presenting, so um, Cam, just feedback from the Vasaki Milla, how did you think it went? No, it was absolutely amazing, the Saad Sangat from Birmingham, especially, right, they, they, they are, need to be congratulated, because they smashed it, literally smashed it. 100,000 people turned up to the event itself. Uh, two Nagar Kirtans, one from Ramgudia Gudra, Graham Street, one from uh, Baba Sangudra, Shruhanda, Smedik. And we got a chance to cover uh, the one from Baba Sangudra, Smedik. And we did, I did a Facebook Live from there. And already there's 170,000 people that have seen that video on its own. So just the Facebook video itself, <laughs> 170,000 people. Because it was amazing. Because it was so much nice, so nice to see that the whole community come out to support it. Youngsters, Bibi Amatama, the Zurg, everyone, and they're all supporting and helping each other. What was so beautiful to see was the amount of different families and shop owners along the route of the Nagarkitan that had come out and set up stalls to provide cha, pani, shole, pature, uh, spring rolls, you name it, everything was there. That's why every time I'm going to Nagarkitan, this tent's <laughs> getting bigger and bigger. The more I'm walking, the bigger the more tent's getting. It's, 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 I don't know what's going wrong there, but. It's been simply because there's so much food that's offered to the Sangat and it's, it's great to see and they're all doing Shraddha and what is another great example is regardless where we might be in our spiritual paths on how far we have progressed towards Guruji and Sikhi itself or the there were people there that have not, they're not Amritari, not even Sajtari, yeah? But they, uh, sorry, the Sajtari, where you got people that were distributing the money, that everyone was doing Seva, Everyone was everyone getting involved. A role. Everyone was mm. getting involved. Yeah. That was beautiful to see. That the Sharda and Pavana is about us now taking to helping them come closer to the Guru Sahib. And that's what the whole asal, uh, meaning of Asaki itself to actually come back to the Khalsa roots, to stand up, uh, stand up against tyranny, stand up for justice, the social class, all this equality and all these sort of things. That's what needs to be promoted again. And this is what this is fantastic. The Nagar Kirtan is happening, the Mele happening, but we as a community now we need to think, okay, we've got all these people, it's great work that you guys are doing, there's different stalls that were set up across there that were doing prachar. But it says get taken to another level. I think the Nagar Kirtan, what we need to start doing is having some stand, some kind of standardized, agreed leaflet that we can give out through as we're pushing through the doors, or the people all the passers by standing there. What is it? What is the Basaki about? Kars Karke, why is the Khalsa font needed now? more than ever, we all stand up against corruption, tyranny. It's happening everywhere, in every, every country in the world. We've seen how much things are happening out there. The Khalsa is still needed today. Definitely. And the only people that came into the Khalsa were those that were ready to stand up for the truth, yeah? Ready to uh, fight, uh, fight tyranny against oppression and stand for Kiganehundaya justice and all the rest of this, yeah? At the same time, they're born out of compassion. So they're born out of compassion. Tigana stood for the truth, born out of compassion. And that same truth message needs to be today and the people that became the caste originally were the brave so whether they were from the hindu background whether they were from muslim background they all came the brave saw the beauty the truth and the beautiful path that guru gobind singh maharaj has laid down in front of them and they chose it and that's what we need to re-emphasize and the brave on the world today need to unite again to stand against oppression tyranny. Definitely, there is a lot of tyranny going on in the world, as we know. 
and you can read the news, but you have to open a paper to see exactly. how much bad it is out there. Uh, you know, the news clips that are going on and on social media, you see how much um, negativity there is out there and how much tyranny there is out there. So uh, as a community, we need to take a step and a stand and push what we knew to as um, organizations and our platforms we have to show the positivity of Sikhi, uh, the positive that you can do by coming to Vasaki and, uh, you know, just by making that little step towards Maharaj. And that's what it's about. Um, Kajit Singh, obviously, uh, this weekend was Vasaki Birmingham. And obviously, as you've just seen the highlights of the clips, we see uh, the CQ UK team had a, a stall out there where we were giving out magazines. And I believe um, a lot of our civil was distributed. We had a pallet of magazines there, which all went out to the Sangata for free distribution. There was articles in there about tyranny. There was uh, about positive work going on in the community. And you know, uh, from yourself, you've been doing a lot of work in Leicester over the uh, past few years. How do you, uh, how did the Leicester Nigel Keaton go? And you know, what was their positive outcome of that? Terso, thanks for allowing uh, Das to come on. And, uh, and I obviously follow your work with Sikh youth very closely, and Kam Singh as well has been amazing on media, the media front as well. Um, I think one of the first things that I, Leicester Nagarkitan, was the previous week, and it was uh, an amazing kind of exactly what you were saying. There were people from all different backgrounds, diverse backgrounds, and uh, uh, people not in Sikhisru, people in Sikhisru, people who are older, younger. Um, even people from other aspects of the community coming in, Hana, mm -hmm. and they wanted to do seva. They were enjoying, you know, the the whole procession. It's almost as if I've thought about it many times, but personally, I think that that for Saki is like when we say that it was actually linked to a season, the start of something different. Like you know, like how you have springtime festival, you have a harvest festival, mm -hmm. but it's almost as if that it brings a new kind of spirit in welcoming the new year, Hana, or welcoming a. Uh, another way of thinking, Hana. And I think Vasaki for me is very important to reflect. And this week, I think, when I came to Birmingham, uh, Nagarkirtan, I felt the same kind of spirit of oneness and that diversity that we felt in Leicester the week before. And I think usually in most towns and cities, there's probably two Nagarkirtan a year, and then that happens. And it's an opportunity for everyone to kind of understand and meet each other and kind of look at whereabouts we're standing. And actually, I know some people will say this and say like, you know, Pishle Nagar Kirtan te si Amr Chakya si, Ja Pishle Nagar Kirtan te si, Aa Kitti si Seva, Asi Uthe Gai Sege. And actually, when we look at the history, it was actually Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj's time, when a Gursi Kopai Paro Ji, he was a Brahmgyani, they used to call him Paramhans Ji. And uh, Paramhans is a, is a name given to a, of a, a very high spiritual status. And actually, when you look at history, he was actually offered a Gur, Gurta Gaddi, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj at one point, but he said, Maharaj, I'm your Das. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was him who actually said to Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Maharaj, you know, Goindwal Sahib is such a beautiful place you've made. And, uh, why don't we get uh, access? Why don't we call all the Sangat here and celebrate a uh, one day like Vasakhi where people of all different aspects who've joined to Guru Nana Dev Ji somehow can all meet and we can know who they are. We can understand this person from Birmingham, well, in those days, not Birmingham, but in those days, this person's from uh, uh, like Afghanistan, right. this guy's from South India, you know, like all different areas. Right? Actually, it gives an idea for it, takes, it gives you, allows you some time to maybe have a panthic discussion about what's going on in the reality of, of today's situation. Right. And actually, when we say Mela, the word Mela means to meet. Right? And, and the point of meeting is mm. So actually these days for Guru Sikhs, from the beads that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj put in, of traveling to all those places, Guru Sikhs, wherever Maharaj Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, we know that they created places of learning, right? Tarmishala Jada. And those Tarmishala, the places of religious learning, those Guru Sikhs came from those areas, say we're going to go to go into our side, because we heard that Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, the third Guru Nanak Dev Ji, celebrating something there. Right? And since that time, it's gone on and on and been followed over and over time. Then to Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj, so look at the Panjai Pyare. Kidro Aya, different, different places, and a koi Dili to, koi, you know, like um, different places, na? Bidar to, koi Hor, so Jagannath Puri to, Lahore to. That amazingness is of uniting Gursikhs from all over. And yeah. how much jaw you have when you see Gursikhs on that day, you haven't seen for possibly a year or six months. But that one moment or 10 minutes talk you've had, Definitely. like you get refreshed and you think, oh, well, it's good to see that person. That brain still exists today. Of course it does. And uh, uh, when you do meet, it's about 
and keeping that positive sangha together because mm. like you just said it, they'll play more than that you you show that love but then you you remember it at the time so mm. you remember our oh, last time you spoke to someone was there at the mm. middle it's, it's like an annual get together mm. you know and we need to take that further as mm. i think like next steps from mille from this get together from Vasaki events how do we um you know get that hundred thousand oh, engaged that on a regular mm. regular basis mm. what are I think that I think there's an aspect of this. Obviously, what we want sometimes is the reality of the situation. We've got to face the reality, you know. We're not going to get a hundred thousand no, people to continue coming, you know. But it's about capturing that energy of the individuals, you know, Definitely. and making that. And I think individually, a person we know, all of us know, having come through the Prachar kind of circuit for so long in the Narjwan area, this in this country. We always say, uh, seek to inspire, kind of like we, for example, in the past few seek to inspire camps, by Sukharad Singh Ji, or any of the talkers, Hajinda Singh Nick, or you know, like uh, any of the things that we know, Singh Ji who done Prachar, they always say this, that to maintain it, to maintain that spirit of a camp, or of a uh, Nagar Kirtan, what we have to keep coming to Sangat, and you have to keep doing that Sangat. And actually that, that spirit is what keeps you alive and keeps you focused on you know, that prem and, and love and affection. But one thing I would say is that when we're young and we're coming into Sikhi, sometimes we can d build defences very quickly and we, we have a set mentality, you know. Sometimes when we, uh, when we have a chance to go to Nagar Geet, then you actually see the Panth in its actually functioning order. Yeah. That actually we're bigger than we think we are. You know? And that's what we should bear in mind, because we shouldn't create walls to actually think, how do we break down the walls and have a united front, you know. And, and the only way we can do that is appreciate that every single person has got a role. And that's what I think Nagar Gitan teaches me. That's Definitely. what I taught me because mm -hmm. you see the sweep, you see the people doing the sweeping in front of them, they're doing the Sadhgar for Maharaj. Yeah, of course. And uh, you see the Ganti Singh doing Char Sahib, you see the kids doing Gataka or, you know, like they were doing some sort of the, playing the Sankh or the Rana Singha or whatever it is. And, uh, you see people holding the Nishan Sahibs, you see Bibiyan, like Paji said, or, feed, or, or, you know, doing the feeding Seva, Langar Seva hana, on the sides. The point is that everyone's got a role, and Maharaj knows what that role is for that day. Mm, and, and similarly, Maharaj has given us a role in the Panth as well. And if we stick to the role and just welcome people for whatever they're doing, Karijan, yeah, but do our task to the 110%, that's the most important thing. 100%, I fully agree with that. We have to, everyone who has a role in the calm mm. has to dedicate their time to that. It, it, otherwise, they'll be draining themselves, trying to, and they'll be uh, widespread. You know, you drain yourself out, Cam, as you know, you've been on the scene a long time. <laughs> I always drain myself out, but I'm always going, like, going. The reason I'm always going is because, like, what Bodhi just mentioned, and this is the, this Maharaj keeps telling us time and time again, Saad Sangat Milki No Don. We, everything that we're going to get here is within the Saad Sangat. So if you're constantly having darshan of things like Kuzi Singh, yeah, it's how people out there that are doing active things to help and make our community stronger, whether that's through social care, whether that's through Prachad, whether, wh whatever it is, like I just mentioned now, because every single person's got a different role to play. But as soon as you identify that, we're not here to judge someone based on their appearance. We're here to say, listen, let's work together to make that relationship between yourself and the Guru stronger. Mm. That's the whole point. It's not fair that we're here or not, to make you stronger, to make your Pravar stronger. That Tarmasal that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj talked about is in every house. Kar, kar Tarmasal Huna. So every mm. single house has to have that. So if we're not doing Keetan, if we're not doing Rera together, not doing part together, not doing similar together in your own homes, then we're not, we're not getting the message out there. Mm. Definitely. So these, this is why these channels are so important. 100%. So we always say from time to time, again, every single time we get a chance, number one, do as much as you can while you can. Number two, those families that pray together, stay together. Stay together. Mm. So in your own homes, even if it's three and a half minutes, sit down and uh, just do Simran, do Moon Mantra, do whatever you want, something that unites you, all of you to a card really important. That is it. Nice and simple. These little, little simple steps and then keeping that, because look, the reality of the situation is when, when, we're, when we're at home, or when we go back after Nagar Kirtan and all the rest of it, that was a, we're, we're boosted, mm. but then we go back to our normal lives. In our normal life, in how many hours a day we're going to have so much gun thrown towards us, the advertisements, the TV, the internet, the social media, Definitely. all these things are going to do these little things to your head to make you think in certain ways. But if you do not maintain the path, the net name, or even a weekly session where all you can meet with Sangat, you're easily going to be misled. Of course. Or yeah. you're going to be taken down the wrong route. This is why it is so important to get darshan. This is why it's so important to, even if it's Punjabi class, it's a bit of Sangat, Maharaj, 
Even if it's a Gatka class, go and join it. Sikhi class, go and join it. Kirtan class, go and join it. Something that links. I love it because even at the moment, because I can speak, for example, because that's what my parents did for myself. Yeah. That's what I'm doing to my kids. So I'm taking them to Punjabi class. I'm taking them to Sikhi class. I'm taking them to Kirtan class. Because they're getting sangat. With that sangat, they're talking about Sikhi things with me. I don't need to do nothing now. They're talking. So what's this about? So they're asking the questions that Sikhi grows within. Because it's like, you know, when you, when, when we're youngsters, you know, we, when we get to the first time, you get to a, like a, a mad ice cream place where, you know, it's a proper swad, isn't it? Like, <laughs> sometimes you get, you, you, you load, 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 yeah, yeah. like, this is really, really nice, so you eat more and more. But do we, uh, for the tongue, it, it was tasty, nice, didn't it? It's like a mind, you, you thought, you know, the first time you probably learned uh, how to make a lot, a lot of money, you know, so the kid, if I did sell this money, I'll make X amount. Or if I sell this money, I'll make X more and more. Your, your mind just runs with it. Because it likes a thought and it's running with it. It's the same with the gym. But your spirit, the atma inside you, that atma gets a taste of sikhis. Yeah. It wants more. Of course. So when it wants more and more, it wants to know, learn more about its dhyas. It wants to know more about its people, what they went through, all the persecutions. You know, you hear about other, uh, other, other faiths who went through persecutions. You went through it for 500 years. We've only been around 500 years. Of and the amount of qurbaniya and sacrifices our people have given. And then you look at a south thinking, what am I doing? So you, you want to learn Kirtan. So there's loads of different aspects. We, you know, there, there's going to be similar. Some people like the Kirtan. Some people like the similar. Some people like the part. Some people like the seva aspect. And some people like the, sol the soldier aspect, aspect of the Sikhi. There is so much Sikhi to offer to so many different people more. with so many different roles. Is this a case of find out which is it that uh, like, you know, whatever gets you closer. Best. Whatever gets you closer to the Guru Sahib. Go with it. I wanted to share, I, I linked in with that, I was just thinking, you know, like, uh, with that Seek to Inspire camp, yep. it's coming up soon, um, Bank Holiday weekend at the end of May, and my sons and my children sometimes turn to me and say, uh, Dad, have you booked it all? Have you, are you ready to go? Are we ready to go? And then I, on the, in the car one day, I asked my eldest, and I go, tell me then, what, what is it? why do you want to go? What, what's the reason when you go camp for? He goes, the seva, he goes, it's just, you know, the washing in front of Maharaj and be brushing the water away. I go, yeah, okay. I go, but what's the real reason? And I, because I just wanted to get down to it. You know how you want to see how they're working. And he go, then they start. Like, I go, it's the football, isn't it, really? Yeah. And I go, I go, tell me the truth. And they started laughing, both of them. Yeah. But the point is, I go, you want to meet up with the Sings yeah. from Watford, or you want to meet up with the Sings from East London, who they've made friends with through a camp from previously. Sangat. But they built that Sangat, and that's the most important thing. And I, they is. are already with the identity, Maharaj Sahib Kirpa Kana, that they don't waive our children, not just mine, but generally all of our children. But the fact is that we're, we're doing it at home, like Paji says, then we've got to provide the opportunity for them to develop socially as well. Yeah. And if they're getting that social, they'll remember it. And so I asked me at the Birmingham, I'm not going to keep them, ask this person to help me for this. They don't forget that experience. Like Paji said, you have that experience of the ice cream. That ice cream is going to be linked to a memory of where you had it as well. Oh. Like, oh, yeah, I remember back in the days we used to go to the Nagar Geetan or whatever, and you know, we went here, we went there. Sometimes I remember when we were younger, my parents used to take us to Tardi Dava and we used to do Kavishir uh, off stage or Kavta off stage. And I remember seeing some Singhs who were younger then in Birmingham who I met at uni later on. Mm. And it's like you had that link. Of course. And, and uh, again, one more thing like that Didar of the Khalsa is so important and that's linked to even in our own home sometimes all right, level zero might be we don't do anything with our kids until we jumped up or whatever level one might be like that you they sit together and talk but on with the ipads or got a tv on in your family sitting together that's teague as well but the next stage above after that would be actually look at your parents look at your children talk to them you know communicate with them and then the higher level will be do part together Definitely. and then you break it down to stages like that you'll be able to then because nowadays when you walk into a house everyone's on their little uh, gadgets the and stuff yeah. and gadgets. that doesn't help is it? and if you look at someone we know honestly me and you know that we haven't planned anything for this no. show but Maharaj is amazing how Maharaj works so going on what the brothers are saying, um, Cam was just talking about persecution. Um, if we talk about persecution and of recent, you've just seen the Shaheed, uh, Shahidi of Jatadar Harwinder Singh Nahang. Um, he, there will be a Mahan Shahidi Smagam this Saturday at Guru Nanak Goddard Asmedic. So 
please all attend. You can find out about his jeevani, his life, and uh, uh, I think there's going to be a big Bhante Kart. A lot of the organizations in Jati Bandi are coming together just for this program, so that's really good. If you didn't know about it, make sure you come uh, Friday, 5 p.m. at Guru Nanak Godora Smedic, and what Bhai Sab's on about after um, uh, the, the Sangat and the camps. Uh, in two weeks, I believe, yeah. no, three weeks' time, there's a camp at the end of this month. Um, it's Seek to Inspire camp, and they do a lot of parjar uh, up and down the country and even internationally. Uh, they do yatare each year as well. So um, uh, let Baisab just talk a bit about the camp and uh, how things are running smoothly and ready for the, uh, this year's uh, event. Yeah, I mean, even though I think uh, it's been many years now since we've been kind of regularly attending, Usually it's in the capacity of either talker or seva dar, right? but every time the camp experience is different and it always means something different to you individually. Yeah, yeah. There's no replacement for doing Sangat of Guru Sahib at any age or any time. Right? Yeah. For us, we're all learning right? and the, when we see the newbies come in and when we see people who are, don't know much about Sikhi and want to learn, and sometimes because Sikh Twins Power Camp has a wide age range, you have some of the older groups, even though age, over age 40 or 50 sometimes, even they want to learn, and their learning is infectious. And their prem for wanting to learn new things is infectious as well. Yes. We've got to appreciate that everyone's learning at different wavelengths. Different that's what Badi was, what Badi was mentioning. And, but you're right, but harnessing it, it's going to be the personal individual's power and, and that ability to make that decision. Say, Definitely. okay, I'm going to Actually, when we think about it, when we, if you think back to when we were going to Nagakitans at the start, we used to feel inspired seeing the Panj sing at the front. We used to feel inspired at Maharaj, everyone Matha taking to Maharaj. Oh. Little, little things used to inspire us. And now we're on the other side of doing the seva. We sometimes forget that actually these people are in the same position where we were. Definitely. But and that's the beauty of it. Maharaj, you guru sikha ikko pyaar, guru mitta putta pa yana. That avo sikha satguru ke pyaar hoga, avo sachi bani. We all make mistakes, we all have individual problems and differences, and let's not debate that. But we're Gursik. You're for me, a Guru Govind Singh Sahib Ji You're for me, a Guru Govind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji That's how I feel internally, and we should bear that in mind Definitely. when we see each other. Because you don't want to talk, you know, you can't do this, Seva, you can't do that. Do it, do it. So that's what the camp, the camp's at the end of the month, and there's a lot of Seva, and there'll be a lot of. Uh, inspirational talkers there. Um, I believe we've got one of the evenings to do a talk on about the dangers in society as well. So I've um, been speaking to Bhavinder Singh and he said please mention it. So we have mentioned the camp again. If you haven't um, registered, try and get your registration in. Um, this Saturday again, the Mahan Shahid Dismagam for Jatidhar Bhavinder Singh. So please um, attend there at Guru Nanak Godar And another up and coming event coming up soon is June and it's only four or five weeks away, is the annual Shahidi tournament we do in memory of what happened in uh, Darbar Sahib, uh, Sadi Sahib in 1984. So um, uh, all the Najwans up and down the country, boys and girls get together uh, for the annual Shahidi tournament and this is the fifth year now. So it's the anniversary, the fifth year. So um, I think there's about 45 teams so far. So try and get your registrations in. We still got two weeks to get your registrations in. Um, last year we had over 80 teams, which was over a thousand people from up and down the country, all sec from whatever stage of Sikhi they're at. They all came in memory of those Shaheeds. So they all came, they took something back where they learned about what happened in 1984, but they all got to compete against each other and it was a fantastic day. And hopefully this year again it will be in, obviously it will be exclusively on Sikh channel, so you'll be getting the updates, the promo and the advertisements already on, and the tournament will be coming. I believe we're coming towards the end of the show. Um, any last minute, uh, last announcements and last messages for the Sangata regarding Vasaki and any of the events coming up? No, no, definitely uh, partake in as uh, much events as you can. The more Sangat you get, only thori So if whenever you get an opportunity to do Sangat, please do take it. It will help you, even with the uh, uh, we've only got two minutes, uh, three seconds left, otherwise I'll go into whole lecture mode. So yeah. I'll say to you, just whenever you get an opportunity to do Sangat, definitely do it. Um, just a last message to all our Sivadars. However you contributed over Vasaki, be it the designs of the magazines, be it um, doing Seva in the park, at the Mela. Uh, this weekend I think we had over 100 Sivadars doing different roles just at the Mela. You know, and you all know who you are and you know how much effort and means you put in to make sure the weekend went successfully and it did. 
and we reached out to many and a lot of people have contacted us. So I want to thank you all for messaging and contacting us. We will be in touch. We have had a busy time. There was a few issues which were uh, uh, which we're glad that the Sangata came forward and spoke to our team, which were addressed correctly and appropriately at the Mela. So we want to thank all our Sevadas for attending and supporting. We want to thank Sikh Channel for giving us a regular platform. And we'll see you hopefully at next event, which is the Shahidi Smagam this Saturday. And good night, God Thank you for listening and tuning in. Vai Gaji Ka Khalsa, Vai Gaji Ki Fateh.